guys, Nick here with the Gage of Gamers. Sorry, Kevin, did I interrupt something? No, no, I just had a little bit of a burp. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so um, we're still here in Men Monster Mansion, like two episodes over what I wanted, but whatevs. Stuff will be stuff. Oh, well, at least you have me to keep you company. Yeah, at least I have the <laughs> um, beautifully voiced Kevin here. Yes, I'm not very right, but I will try my best. <clears throat> anyway. I think I, I, I think you just made our female audience come. <laughs> not if I... I, I think, uh, unless I spoke like Tom Hilston or Benedict Cumberbatch, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> so. So. Oh. Yeah. Although I, although I dare I say it as a straight guy, I actually have a bit of a man crush on both of them too. So I kind of under, I do totally understand where the women are coming from. <laughs> oh, so did Kevin? I, I, did I tell you that I went bald? Uh, no, you didn't. But you, like completely. Yeah, like I started shaving my head. Yeesh. Okay. Don't, don't don't worry. I'm not gonna be running around screaming Heil Hitler. <laughs> okay, good. But, but uh, although I was actually gonna ask, uh, I was gonna ask about that when I saw your Skype picture the other day. But I just decided, you know, I'll wait till he brings it up before I say anything. Although although I'll be honest, uh, although I'll be honest, it's also reminding. It also has reminded me. It also reminds me of this George Carlin routine where he. Has a bit of a disdain for people who shave their heads when they start to go bald, like particularly white guys, because and he actually described like no one wants to have their head look like a freshly circumcised. Mm -hmm. Oh, so yeah, and he says if you want to be bald, do what I did. Wait a <laughs> while. I mean, that's not to say that you you don't look that bad, but it's just I'm just saying that it just reminded me of that George Carlin. Well, anyway. well, to be honest, um. Oh, we're all done. Yay! Yay! On to the next episode. Nope, just surrounded. Um, <laughs> so we're only three minutes in, so... We can always just mess around and try to find some... Oh, some yeah, and, like, there is, um... There. there is a place I can go. Because... Okay. Um... Shit, 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 shit. Run! 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 But, um... <laughs> There's some. Uh... Hello, ladies. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm being. Sorry. Um, there's some. There's a jiggy in Bubble Goop Swamp that I still need to get. There's the one that's outside for Easy Peak. Uh, so this is actually perfect. This gives me a chance to catch up on those jiggies. And I and I can just go and I can just keep talking to you while you get them. So. I mean, so it's a little, not quite the entirety of Mad Monster Mansion, it's just us kind of just, you know, just, yeah, whatever, right? <laughs> Whoops, your butt, you will hardly stand, oh my. Oh my. Uh, I'm not, thankfully, thankfully, I'm not into spanking, so, so thank God for uh, that. Oh, but SM, SM is so much fun. And I'll take your word for it, <laughs> that's just not my thing. I mean... Uh, this is not to give away too much about myself, but uh, I mean the closest, the only like really most extreme thing I'll go is just a little bit of RP, but that's and that's about it. Oh my! <laughs> I won't specifically say what kind because I don't want it all over the internet, but just it's it's furry. It's the occasional little. No, it's not furry. Oh my! Okay, so uh, red feathers. Got it. Anyway. Yeah. Feathers. So thank you. Recently, I friended. I got a friend request on Facebook from this guy that's a mutual friend of one of my friends. So I'm like, uh -huh. okay, you know, whatever. So, like, today I decided to finally, like, unfollow his feed or whatever. Yeah. Because, okay. um, he likes a gay furry gaming page. <laughs> and... <laughs> And all I see on my timeline when I'm looking down was this picture of three furries in, like, tidy whitey kindish underwear. It's not it's not white, but it's like those brief kind. Magic get weak. Magic run out. And, like, one... I like Mojo. I think he's cool. He's got that 
but like it showed one of them like pulling the front of the underwear out and i was like okay final straw oh. no more well do you, well yeah i don't i don't blame you although there's yeah there's yeah, although sometimes I admit there's some things my brother Owen shares on Facebook. But not necessarily anything like like that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Not not necessarily stuff like that, but just some of the more political slanted things he put, shares that kind of it's just I mean I mean I consider myself a bit more liberal than progressive, but it's just some of the things he posts are a little bit too liberal. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Just or it feels like they're it's like almost like Liberal for the sake of just be uh, of to almost like a, almost in like almost like like almost like benign fascism kind of liberalism, you know, that kind of thing. It, so and it kind of sometimes rubs me the wrong way. To be completely honest, I hate talking political with anyone because yeah, I, I try not I try not to talk politics when it comes to some people, but it's just. Just some topics are just so inflammatory to people that it just makes me wonder. Uh, yeah, look at that bear crotch. Although I admit, I don't understand how some women, how some women, like who, uh, who can be a part of a part, can still consider them, themselves part of a party that's pretty much trying to stomp on the rights of, of their fellow women. You know, it's just, it's just, Pathetic. Buddy, I'll let you know a little secret. It's this thing called religion. And... No, I, I think it's more like cognitive dissonance. I mean, I'm a religious person, but I also don't use my religion as an excuse to deny people basic human rights or to shit on other people that I don't like. If I don't like someone, I'll let them know, and I'm like, and this isn't just my... And I'm not saying this in God's name, I'm saying this in my own name. I, I don't like you, period. <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, I've said I've said this numerous times. If you're gonna be a bigot, go right ahead and be one. Just keep God out of it. You'll find more people will take you seriously. <laughs> uh, I completely lost what I was gonna say. Yeah, sorry. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, I was track. gonna say something about what you just said, and then I like drew a blank for straight up. Uh, if you're gonna be a bigot, be a bigot to keep God out of it. Yes. Except... Yeah. But I think, if you want to be a bigot, at least be a good bigot. I mean, mm. actually do research, and not, like, pseudoscience, like, actual research. Yeah. Or, or don't, or just, or, or don't willfully ignore the science that's already been discovered for the sake of just denying, like, climate change or something. It's... Um, it's just absurd how so many people in this country, including the people who are these elected officials to like the, that Department of Science and Technology, are, have to be spoon-fed the actual or scientific explanation as to why we have global warming and everything. And I'm just like, you're in the Department of Science and Technology, and you don't even know. You don't even. You have to be. You have to have be. Have to be have like have global warming and climate change explained to you? Well, I mean, are you that stupid? I mean, seriously. To be completely honest, I don't really think global warming is too much of an issue because we don't. Yeah, climate. Yeah, but climate change certainly can be an issue. If yeah, it's, I mean, you know. like where. Like, the Earth has gone through warming and cooling trends throughout its entire existence. We just have we just have oh. to now have the technology to actually notice, oh, hey, it's starting to get warmer. Should we be concerned? Yeah, well, you think, I'm, although my mom once told me a story of when she was a kid, like, bear in mind this was like in the 50s, dare I say. This, that shows you how old my parents shows are. Shows you how old you are. But, um, it shows how old I am too, for that matter, because I'm 28. Uh, uh, but anyway, and she told me a story about there was one time snow was falling from the sky in the middle of April. Ah, uh, that'd be so yeah. But then again, this is Michigan, so I live in Michigan, so it's like the whole running joke of Michigan is like, if you don't like the weather, wait 10, wait, wait 30 seconds, it'll change eventually. <laughs> so. 
Yeah, uh, and I, I, I and I understand you're in Michigan now. So how you liking it as opposed to where you used to um, live? It's a lot less. Actually, it's a lot more beautiful up here. Mm. Oh yeah, definitely. but like, I don't know. I just don't like how everyone like says where they are in in Michigan on their hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's another little gag. That's basically a Michigan. That's very much a Michigan thing of like you know pointing out to where we are on the hand. Yeah, and and like you know you are both hands, and one hand represents the upper peninsula, and the other one represents the lower. Yeah. In fact, whenever I meet someone new online and they're not, they don't live in the United States. So, if anyone uh, they tell they ask me which state I'm in, I mean, I say I'm in Michigan, the state, it's a state that's shaped like a mitten. <laughs> and she's, they're like, oh, and some of them are like, oh, okay, and some of them are like, oh, I know that state, okay. So, I, I usually just describe it as the mitten-shaped state to make it simple for people to be able to see it on a map. Anyway, wait. oh, you didn't get this one? Uh, okay. no, because, uh, I haven't gotten back to it since I got the speedy shoes. So now I'm just using the speedy shoes because I don't feel like actually trying. Fair enough, that's fine. Yeah, the speedy shoes are a real godsend when it comes to this. <laughs> I'll be honest, the design of him almost looks reminds me of like Claptrap from uh, the Donkey Kong Country games. But then again, Rare also made those, so I'm not surprised. So. Yeah. Ah, come on. Shit. Hold on. Oh, man. no, no, no. <laughs> um, no, no. Oh, oh, poor. Lord. <laughs> it's, it's like from the Sim it's like from an episode of The Simpsons where the Homer keeps eating so many donuts and stuff, and for every bite he's like, "Oh, oh, more!" And it became so pro uh, and it became so well known that um that there was uh, actually a hack of like Doom that, or or where they replaced some characters with like Simpsons characters, and the main character was replaced with Homer Simpson, and um and um <laughs> but, and the funny. And the best part of it is, if you ever picked, if you picked up health uh, to replenish your health, you heard the "ow ow" more sound. <laughs> it was, and, and the health was like boxes of donuts. It was really uh, funny. That... I, I remember watching my brother play that uh, when I was younger. My brother was really good at like that, like also kind of hacking games like Doom and Wolfenstein 3D and stuff. Growing up, like he actually hacked a version of Wolfenstein 3D for me when I was a kid, where. Uh, where instead of you seeing the bloody corpses of the Nazis when you killed them, uh, they basically atomized and you saw a pair of smoking boots. Oh, that's cool. Of course, granted. Yeah, so, but, so, but, I mean, basically it still had to pass my mom's inspection to see if it, there would be, she would approve me playing it, because, you know, she was concerned about me playing violent games right. growing up, and rightfully so. And he tried to do something similar with Doom, where instead of just the enemy seeing the bloody mo corpses of the monsters, they basically like turn to stone and crumple into look like a pile of rubble, essentially. But unfortunately, my unfortunately my bro unfortunately that didn't man that didn't really pass my mom's inspection too much. So she so she basically had to so basically he had to hack the game so there were no monsters in there, so I could play it. How did that work? Yeah, it wasn't as fun, shall we say, but at least it gave me a chance to really explore the layout of all the levels with my own t all the levels so I could know them pretty well when I, until I got to the age where I could actually play the game with the monsters in it and shoot things, so that helped. I mean, I'm not usually a fan of FPS games anyway, but there's certain ones that that I will play, or, or, or although I'd like to insist that um, the Metroid Prime games aren't exactly a first-person shooter game, they're more a first-person adventure yeah. game. Because the Metroid games on the whole have always been more about adventure you know, and exploring. I've and had, uh, I have my copy of the GameCube uh, Metroid Prime, and I absolutely suck at it. Like, um, I got I got stuck on a boss. It was like the plant boss. Oh, uh, was it Flavra? I don't remember. It's been a while since I've uh, picked it up. 
because if it was Flogra, I might be able to help you with that. Because I'm, I, I actually, it took me forever to figure out that boss, but once I figured it out, it was pretty easy. Like actually. it was one that was really early in the game too, so like. Okay, then then it was probably Flogra, and I think we're kind of coming up on the time. Yeah, we are. But... All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, this will probably be the last video in this series of videos that uh, Kevin Phil comes on. So. Yeah. Uh, if you guys like him, leave in the comments, and I'll bring him back if he's willing to. Oh yeah, I'd be game for anything, so to speak. I, and plus, I'd, I would just, I mean, if you want to co-commentate on any of my stuff, Nick, you can do that as well. I mean, just depends on what game it Definitely, is. Definitely, so. because I'm, I'm going to go into your videos and drop all my friends' YouTube channels, too. <laughs> 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 oh, go for it. I, although some of them I'm probably already sub to, you never right. know. Alright guys, so uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. That's